because one can never understand and appreciate the true meaning and real essence of Christmas without knowing and accepting the Christ of Christmas. Magandang umaga po sa lahat. Praise the Lord that we could be together again through our unified online worship. And this month, yun na nga po yung ating theme is that let's celebrate the birth of the Savior King, Jesus Christ. And ang ating pinakatema po is Advancing the True Message of Christmas. Now, uh, I would like to discuss with you today two points. Dalawa lang po, no? Kung bakit po natin kailangan i-advance ang true meaning of Christmas. Let us pray. Our loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you, Lord, for the kingdom conquest, the victories and successes that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, because ang itong lahat po ay para po sa inyo. At uh, we praise the Lord for your constant guidance, for your protection, and for your provision upon all our needs. And today, Lord, help us as we feast upon your word. May your Holy Spirit be our guide. In Jesus' most blessed and powerful name we pray. Amen. So why do we need to advance the true message of Christmas? Una po, because it is the good news of salvation. Now, sa Bible po, pag merong something na gustong mangyari ang Panginoon, a major event, and especially when it comes to salvation, eh nagpapadala po siya ng anghel. Now, dito po sa binasa kanina ni Gabi, ang ating scripture text for, for today, and kahit last week, and I believe itong math na to, which is about the birth of Jesus Christ, the angel no, came and, and appeared before the shepherds. And ito po sinabi niya sa verses 10 to 11 ng chapter 2 ng Luke. Sabi po dito, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Messiah the Lord. Do not be afraid. Now the context of this, especially during the times of the Roman Empire. Originally, the Roman Empire was ruled by several generals. At isa po dito, yung pinaka-famous, I think, of the generals po during this time of as a Roman Empire is Julius Caesar. Marami po po ibang mga generals. But gradually, ito po mga generals ay isa-isa pong namatay o they were murdered. And eventually, it, there was one man who emerged. At ito nga po si Gaius Octavius who gained control and became the first Roman emperor. And in fact, history will say that he was the most successful of all the emperors in the Roman Empire. Now, he took the name of Caesar Augustus. Caesar Augustus po, uh, kanyang uh, ginamit na name, dahil ang original na po si Gaius Octavius, ay pinalitan po ito dahil he was po uh, an heir, dahil po siya ay adopted son ni Julius Caesar. So he got the name Caesar. Now itong Augustus naman po was given to him by the Roman Senate nung naging emperor po siya. And he was such a powerful man during that time na yung Augustus po ay meaning actually is reverend, the exalted, or venerable. Uh, at nagustuhan po daw ito ni Caesar Augustus no, dahil he was nga a powerful man during that time. And you could just imagine Sabi nga po dyan sa verse 1 kanina, a decree from Caesar Augustus was made. And yun po nga po, nire-require ang lahat ng mga tao in the world to have a census. And actually, ang sadya po na yan, or the purpose for that, is so that everyone could pay their tax to him or to Rome. Think of it, a very powerful man sitting in Rome. And kaya nga po, this time, because the, the Roman Empire was so powerful, People were perplexed. People were uh, we were fearful. So we could just imagine po na itong mga shepherds during that night, nung nakita nila na biglang may liwanag, akala siguro po nila, sabi ng uh, some Bible scholars, they thought that it was uh, the, the army, a Roman army, or uh, mga Roman soldiers no, who would come to 
do whatever they want. No, kasi ganun nga sila. Kagrabi po yung time na yun. So they were living in fear, the people, during this time. So you could just imagine these lowly shepherds when they suddenly saw that great light. But the angel's message was, do not fear. Fear not. Don't be afraid. Why? Because there is um, a message of great joy, unspeakable, boundless, unheard of. And this message is not fake, but true and real. It is not temporal, but eternal. Not small, but great. Sabi ng angel, I bring you good news. Ayan po ang kanyang announcement. For a change, it was not a burdensome decree. Kasi nga, sabi natin, pag mag-decree po kasi uh, during this time ng, ng panahon na ito, uh, medyo mahirap po, especially sa mga uh, lowly people tulad ng the shepherds. So for once, itong balita ito ay good news para sa kanila. And not only for certain individuals, but for all, sabi ng angel. No? Perhaps you could also imagine that during their time, if there was good news, it was only for the rich, the select few, the elite, or the privileged upper class ng society. Pero yung mga, yung mga poor po ay hindi po masyado nakakarinig ng good news. But here, the angels have declared that this is a good news. So it was a message of joy, hope, and peace. Dahil nga po, he he's uh, bringing the message of salvation because a Messiah has been born. But make no mistake, this could only come through Jesus Christ. There would be no real joy, no real hope, and no real peace apart from having a relationship with God through His Son, Jesus. The answer to the longings and yearnings of the world. At noon, hanggang ngayon, ganun pa rin po. Ang mundo ay nangangailangan ng comfort, nangangailangan ng assurance, nangangailangan ng security. So this was a message of hope, uh, joy, and of peace. And secondly, it was also a specific message. Sabi nga ng angel, a good news of great joy. And sabi niya, why? Because today, hindi yesterday, hindi tomorrow, but today, in the town of David, ibig sabihin po sa Bethlehem. And if you look back sa Micah po, chapter 5 verse 2, let's go to Micah 5 verse 2, 700 years before po itong pangyayari na ito. Ang sabi po ng Panginoon through Micah, but you, Bethlehem, Ephratha, Though you are small among the clans of Judah, out of you will come for me one who will be ruler over Israel, whose origins are from of old, from ancient times. At ito na nga po yung coming of the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. So sabi ng angel, a Savior has been born today. The Messiah is Christ the Lord. If you look at the dictionary, Messiah could mean champion, liberator, leader, defender, guardian. At yan nga po, the Lord, the Messiah, Jesus Christ. So this was a good news, especially for the shepherds na they were uh, looking forward to this, uh, this itong prophesied na Messiah that would be their king. And sabi ng angels at, sa verse 12, This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. God's message of salvation is specific because His word, His message never changes. It proves that it is true. Now, sa ating mong panahon ngayon, pabago-bago. Our times are changing. The facts are inconsistent. And the so-called truths are relative. But ito po yung message this Christmas, this is true. While they were still in amazement, habang uh, they, will, they were still pondering itong mga shepherds sa uh, message ng angel, di pa nga talaga sila naka, nag-sing in no? yung, yung pangyayari. Sabi ng verses 13 to 14, basahin natin, sabi po, Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom His favor rests. Now remember, nung una nilang nakita yung angel, they were fearful. But this time, when the heavenly host came, the fear of the shepherds turned into amazement and awe as they witnessed this heavenly choir. May imagine lang po natin, no, gaano kaganda, uh, so amazing and wonderful yung pagkanta po ng mga angels, yung angelic voices na tinatawag natin. Uh, I remember a Korean choir, no, uh, yung uh, Gracious Choir, na pag napanood nyo, if you have YouTube, try to look for that, Gracious Choir. This is a Christian choir, Korean, no, napakaganda nilang kumanta. Eh, mas lalo na po itong mga 
uh, angels na ito. Just imagine, heavenly voices. Now, one more specific message. Sabi nga ng angel, And on earth, peace to those on whom His favor rests. Peace to those with whom He is pleased, some other versions uh, say. And yung iba rin, Or peace to the people He favors. While the gospel of Jesus Christ is a message of reconciliation and hope, sabi dyan po sa John 3.16, For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, uh, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. It's a message of reconciliation and hope. That hope is only accessible to those who believe in Him and receives and accepts Him. Sabi nga po sa John 1.12, To those who believe and receive Him, they will become the children of God. Accurately translated, ito po sinabi ng angel, uh, they are declaring God's benevolence, no, yung compassion and goodwill ng Panginoon to all humanity in general. Pero yung pong makakatanggap ng totoong peace, hope, love, at salvation ay yung malampong maniniwala at tumanggap kay Jesus Christ. Okay? His mercy will, will for those who follow His will by accepting His Son. Diyan po makikita natin sa John. 6.28 to 29 and Hebrews 11.16. Now, yun po ang unang rason kung bakit kailangan nating i-advance ang totoong mensahe ng Christmas. Ang pangalawa pong rason why we should advance the true message of Christmas is to counter the false message or wrong notion about Christmas. Yung wrong view or perception po, yung perception ng mundo kung bakit tayo nagse-celebrate ng Christmas. Hindi ko na lang po isaysayin o ibalik, but last Sunday, yun po ang pinag-usapan natin. Yung pananaw po ng mundo pag Christmas ay iba po sa totoong uh, dahilan kung bakit merong Christmas. So, kailangan tayo po, we should advance the real message of Christmas because others might not know or care. All these years, they have been celebrating Christmas. Nakikisabay, nakikiuso, pero hindi talaga nila alam. So, sayang naman kung di sila mabigyan ng uh, pagkakataon or chance to know and understand the true and real message of Christmas so that they may be aware about it and then they will believe and accept Jesus into their lives. Because one can never understand and appreciate the true meaning and real essence of Christmas without knowing and accepting the Christ of Christmas. Verse 15 po, sabi dito, when the angel had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord told us about. It was not enough for the shepherds to hear the good news and witness the glorious proclamation of the angels. They had to experience it themselves. So sabi ng verse 16, So they heard of and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread a word concerning what had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Because the shepherds believed what they heard and obeyed, they experienced it. They saw and finally experienced what great joy the good news was all about. They saw Jesus. That is what we call faith. After hearing, they believed. And they experienced it. But it did not stop there. When they found and saw Jesus, sabi ng verse, they spread the word. Interestingly, when I looked at dictionary at ang sinonim po ng salitang spread, marami-rami po, no? uh, one of it is open out. To grow, to increase, to escalate, or to broaden. At merong isang very interesting sinonim, to advance. Okay, to advance, advancing the true message of Christmas. Sabi nga po ng ibang version dyan that when the shepherds go out, they spread the word. They, uh, sabi ng ibang version, they told everyone. They made it widely known or proclaimed abroad. They publicized this message. After the, the shepherds encountered the Savior, they took time to tell others about the good news. Yan po talaga dapat because the experience natin, we should also tell others about the good news. And when we look at verse 20, sabi po dito, The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard 
and sin, which were just as had been told. There is indeed reason to celebrate as we realize the true message of Christmas, as we understand the implication of Christmas, and as we actualize the message of Christmas in each of our lives. So yung tanong po and challenge sa ating lahat po, have we been listening? And have we believed yung totoong mensahe ng Christmas? And have we received it tulad ng mga shepherds? And after receiving and accepting na totoo pala ito, then that is the moment we can experience yung sinasabi doon ng angel, the message of great joy because the Savior has been born. And afterwards, have we been advancing or sharing this great message of Christmas? And gaya ng mga shepherds, after they had done this, they returned rejoicing, glorifying, praising, and thanking God. Yan po ang kadahilanan o ang dahilan kung bakit po dapat tayong talagang mag-celebrate ng Christmas. So ngayong umaga po, ang challenge po sa atin, those ones who already have known at napapalahanan ngayong umaga, I hope that we will really celebrate Christmas the way we should. Wala pong problema doon. Dapat nga po talaga tayo mag-celebrate. We should make it a point to celebrate dahil naintindihan po natin kung bakit natin ito yung ginagawa. But to those ones of you who, perhaps, as I've said kanina, nakigaya lang, no? or have been celebrating Christmas at hindi talaga alam kung bakit, ito po yung mensahe. Ang Christmas po, the good news is that a Savior has been born for you and for me. And at kung hindi nyo pa po naranasan ang totoong joy because of that Savior, Jesus Christ, then this is the time for you to enjoy it. Ito po ang uh, the, the exact and the the proper time to be able to experience that joy during this Christmas because a Savior has been born and He can be born into your life, into your home this day. So may I request everyone to please bow down your heads and close your eyes. For those who already have experienced this great joy, this real joy because of Jesus Christ this Christmas, Let's thank the Lord for our salvation and thank Him that in spite and despite of our situation, we can still rejoice, we can still praise Him, we can still worship Him and celebrate this Christmas season dahil alam natin that this is not because of our circumstances or kung arong meron tayo sa ating mga physical and material lives but kung anong meron tayo sa ating spiritual life that we are assured of eternal life because more than 2,000 years ago, this is a celebration, itong Christmas time, a Savior has been born, Jesus Christ our Lord. Let's thank Him. At kung ikaw ay nakikinig ngayon, at hindi ka makarelate dahil hindi mo pa naranasan yung real joy of Christmas, Because Christmas is not about parties. It is not about receiving or giving gifts. It is not about gathering fellowships. Even it is not only family time. But it is about Jesus Christ who has been born and can be born in your life. Kung hindi mo pa naranasan yan, kapatid, my challenge for you today is open your heart. And like the shepherds, believe and receive. Accept Jesus into your life so that you can experience that great joy of salvation. If that is the desire of your heart today, I invite you to pray this prayer with me. Lord, thank you for coming into the world. Thank you that more than 2,000 years ago, you came to be our Savior. Please forgive me for taking things for granted. Please forgive me from my sins. And now, Lord, I would like to experience that true joy 
of salvation. I receive you into my life as my Savior. Please come as I open my heart. Forgive me from my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness and save me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed sincerely that prayer, this Christmas is a joyful time for you. Not only because of what is happening around, but most importantly because Jesus has been born not only more than 2,000 years ago, but Jesus has been born into your heart, into your life. Praise the Lord.